Thousands of New Mexico teachers celebrated the state handing out big raises this school year. But lots of educators will also see more money get taken out thanks to insurance. News 13's Chris McKee explains. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham earned praise from her cabinet by the end of the 2019 session. So let's talk about what we achieved. And after eight years of Republican governorship in the Roundhouse, the newly elected Democrat also found favor with some teachers. We got great reactions from teachers. Albuquerque Teachers Union President Ellen Bernstein describing the reaction to the biggest raises for New Mexico educators in years, 6% for all public school staff. People were really great. One person said to me, that's a car payment. Another person said, wow, this is going to help with my student loan debt. But that raise is also about to get undercut on most educators' checks by insurance premium price hikes. We have this resentment built up that as soon as we get a raise, some of these built-in fees take it away. The New Mexico Public Schools Insurance Authority, which insures 30,000 New Mexico educators outside of APS, NIMSIA is raising premiums next month by nearly 6% on medical plans and 5% on dental. At max, premium increases could cost educators up to an extra $42 per month. Both the statewide insurance authority and APS have had increases year after year after year. The lowest paid school employees will likely see around at least $900 extra dollars each year with raises before taxes. And Bernstein believes most raises will outweigh likely higher insurance costs. But it will not eat as much of our raise because the raise was substantial enough. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. APS hasn't announced yet if premiums will go up for its employees this year. Lawmakers unsuccessfully tried to pass a bill last session to use more state funds to lower costs of some educators' insurance premiums.